This slide presentation provides an overview of recent research conducted by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers at the U.S. Army Engineering Research and Development Center. This testing is different from any previous studies on the use of geogrids in roadway applications. Most previous studies have been performed on unpaved sections over soft soils or on paved sections over soft soils. This recent testing was performed over stiff to very stiff subgrade soils. Additionally, trafficking for this study exceeded 800,000 easels. Findings from this study show that tensar triax geogrids could reduce asphalt and aggregate base thicknesses while still improving pavement performance and reducing deformation. Values used within tensar's third-party reviewed design software were also shown to be conservative. This study is applicable to all pavement designers, owners, and contractors looking for alternatives to significantly improve performance and or reduce initial or long-term costs for their pavements. Estimates based on the testing of these sections show that owners and agencies could save an approximately 16 percent as well as reduce construction times by roughly four to five days per lane mile. The following slides and videos provide additional background, testing information, and results from this research. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Engineering Research and Development Center is located in Vicksburg, Mississippi. It is home to one of the largest accelerated pavement testing simulators in the world, able to replicate different loading conditions and configurations. The facility is in an enclosed area to minimize impacts of moisture on the test sections. Testing for this report was performed back in 2016. Four main objectives were outlined for this testing. These included 1. Provide performance data of paved sections comparing tensor triac stabilized sections to a control section over very stiff soils. 2. Compare a thicker asphalt pavement to a thinner asphalt pavement supported with a triac stabilized base. 3. Record pavement response data to verify tensor's mechanistic models currently available on the market and four, verify tensor design and analysis software tools. The scope of the testing included the comparison of three test sections shown on the bottom of this slide. The control section consisted of four inches of asphalt over eight inches of base course. Two tensor triac stabilized sections were constructed which consisted of three inches of asphalt over six inches of aggregate base over a layer of triacs. Tensar TX5 and Tensar TX8 were the geogrids examined in this phase of testing. As mentioned in slide 4, TX5 and TX8 were utilized in this testing. Both products have triangular openings called apertures. The triangular apertures are used due to their rigid shape and strength. They are configured in such a way that they form a hexagon. The rib pitch, or distance between parallel ribs in TX5, is approximately 1.6 inches or 40 millimeters. For the TX8, the rib pitch is only 1.3 inches or 33 millimeters. This smaller opening is designed to interlock well with base materials that have a D50 less than or equal to 22 millimeters. This is in line with most aggregate bases. Test sections developed were 10 feet wide by 50 feet long. Subgrade soils in these sections were conditioned to a CBR of 6%. Testing of these sections included the construction, instrumentation, and trafficking of the triac stabilized sections and the control section. Testing was conducted using highly controlled and monitored accelerated pavement testing to gather response data, limit the risk of variability, and ensure proper comparisons. Accelerated pavement testing, also called APT, is much more accurate than field testing, and procedures for this type of testing are outlined by the NCHRP in NCHRP Report 512. APT evaluation requires significant oversight and adherence to proper tolerances. Much more detailed information on this testing, the NCHRP guidelines and the quality controls can be found in the NCHRP document. A video is also available that outlines this testing. It can be viewed by going to the link at the bottom of this slide. Total deformation, or rutting, of the control and stabilized sections was measured at intervals throughout the testing to monitor performance over time. This slide illustrates the total deformation over time for the control section. 
the control had approximately 0.64 inches of rutting after 811,000 easels. Total deformation for the thinner TX5 stabilized section measured 0.313 inches after the same 811,000 easels. The TX8 stabilized section had only 0.263 inches of total deformation. This section had the least amount of total deformation. Both triac stabilized sections had less than half the amount of total deformation of the control. Comparing the results of this testing at the same level of rutting, or total surface deformation, illustrates the benefit of stabilizing a pavement base with triacs. At 0.3 inches of total rutting, the control section was only able to support 220,000 easels, less than one-third that of the thinner TX5 stabilized section, and less than one-fourth that of the thinner TX8 stabilized section. The newly updated SpectrePay4 Pro software utilizes this testing and allows for design with both TX5 and TX8. It allows a user to look at and compare options. Values used within SpectrePay4 Pro are conservative and provide values below what were found during this and other phases of APT testing. In comparing the three sections tested in this study and making some assumptions on asphalt, base rock, and excavating pricing, the following costs and associated values can be seen. There are some significant initial construction cost benefits with savings from 15.8 to 16.4 percent. The number of trucks traveling over existing infrastructure to service a project can be reduced by 25 percent. The pavement life can be improved from 19 to 25 percent. And the amount of time to construct a project can be significantly decreased by approximately five days per lane mile. This translates into additional benefits and costs, such as reduced safety concerns, user costs, and environmental costs. In summary, triac stabilized sections constructed with 25% less asphalt and base rock, constructed over very stiff soils, provide better performance and reduce deformation. Utilizing triacs within a pavement structure produces significant cost, time, and performance benefits, and provides significant structural benefit. For additional information on this study, Tensar SpectrePay 4 Pro software, or help with the design, please reach out to your Tensar Regional Manager, visit our website, or feel free to give us a call.